white peacock. What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. Lord Vishnu. This must be Hiranyanagari. I have heard such tales of this place. <laughs> she recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O oh Vishnu? It was my city, indeed. Her shadow is long. You must defeat them, Raji. Not kill you, but she knows what to do. See what they built in my name. A magnificent city, a prosperous city filled with marvels. Delicate carvings and intricate mechanisms. Mills powered by water. Wheels that turn other wheels. That open gates and lift great wheels. The demons of water mechanical fluid to run Careful, careful, my Raji. Avoid their gaze. Cries out. Is it hurt? gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? 
She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. Mother, no father. They are up there in the stars, little brother. Yeah. 
Denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of fire. And now it is in one more time. Do not test me! These people have no will. Their minds are clouded by Randa's shadow. And so the city was taken without any way to fight back. But they are alive, and so they can be free. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her 
saying that she would be a slave to Katru until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring, and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vidita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day Vidita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as they bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the Gaijin waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons. 